Before I get into SmackDown, we have a sad tweet, which actually comes from Instagram this week. So I guess sad Instagram would be a better name for it. I will save the actual sad tweet for after my SmackDown review, because I got one of those too. But Simon Gotch. Simon Gotch, currently a member of the Contra Unit faction on MLW TV. He was answering a fan question on Instagram this week about how many stars he thought a triple threat match between himself... CM Punk and Elijah Burke would get. And let me stop there. When I think of dream matches, the idea of CM Punk, Simon Gotch, and Elijah Burke, not exactly high on my list. Seems kind of random. But this person apparently thinks it would be a great match, and he wanted to know how many stars do you think it would get? And Gotch's answer was quite extreme. He said, I don't believe in star ratings. Meltzer is an idiot. Now look, if you stopped right there, if you ended the comment there, that's perfectly fine. There's a lot of people who don't buy into the star ratings. They don't understand why people put so much stock into them. It really is just one man's opinion. And there are a lot of people who think Meltzer is an idiot. You'll get a lot of people who feel that way. Okay, fine. Certainly entitled to that opinion. But he went on. That's not where the statement ended. He continued. He said, Meltzer is an idiot, and the only smart thing that could come out of his mouth would be a bullet that entered through the back of his head. Calling Meltzer an idiot and thinking that his star ratings are BS is one thing. Saying you would like to see the man's brains blown out because of it is just on a whole other level of stupidity. And I'm going to guess that this has less to do with star ratings because you know that if Simon Gotch was getting five stars in the Observer every week he wouldn't have this kind of animosity for Dave Meltzer he'd be kissing his ass so I'm gonna go out on a limb here and I'm gonna guess that this has less to do with that and more to do with Gotch being bitter about Meltzer being the one to report several years ago, that Gotch was not exactly well-liked by some of the other wrestlers in WWE behind the scenes, and that he got his ass kicked in a fight with Sin Cara. Very much a one-sided affair, from what I remember reading. This would have been backstage and catering at a SmackDown show in 2016. So I think that Mr. Gotch probably still harbors a lot of ill feelings towards Dave for that report. And it kind of showed and came out here in his answer. Simon Gotch otherwise seems like a very intelligent person. He's very articulate. And now he can add dipshit to his resume. Congratulations. Now speaking of Kayla Braxton, I mentioned earlier that I had a sad tweet coming up. Yesterday, she posted this gem on Twitter. I can only assume because of all the hate people have been lobbing at this dumb forklift segment from Tuesday that she was involved in uh, at the end of SmackDown, but this is what she had to say. Ever start a movie and quickly realize how bad it is, but you finish it anyway? I just did that. But here's what I won't do. Call the movie out because I'd hate to insult people on something they created when I have zero knowledge or skill on movie making. Some of you should take note. So I'm going to have to assume, I'm going to have to assume that based on this statement, how old is Kayla Braxton? 20, early 20s? Mid 20s? Going to assume that in her 20 some odd years on this earth, at some point, maybe back in the day on her MySpace, or on her Facebook, or maybe even on her Instagram, or maybe amongst friends, she has talked about a terrible movie. Some movie that she saw that was so go Geely, or some kind of movie that she watched, Battlefield Earth, that was so horrendous. At some point during her life, she probably commented on it. I don't have evidence of this, but I'm going to assume that that probably has to, I mean, it has to be the case, right? We've all talked about bad movies. We've all publicly addressed bad movies and bad TV shows that we've seen. Right? I mean, look, I talk about Monday Night Raw every week. 
But I read this and I just thought to myself, ah, yes. If you don't wrestle, how dare you call out a match for being bad? You've never laced up the boot. You, you've heard this before, right? You've never laced up a pair of boots. You don't know what you're talking about. It's like, if you have a shitty meal at a restaurant, don't even think about posting a bad review online on Yelp or something. Because you're not a chef. Therefore, you have no right to tell the cook how to do his or her job. How about all those wrestlers a few weeks ago bitching about Delta Airlines on social media? I wonder if they have their fucking pilot's license. Or if they lost their bags if they've ever worked as a baggage handler before. I mean, it's a tough job, right? I'm sure it's a very stressful job. They're juggling thousands of bags every single day. These wrestlers travel every week. I only travel a few times a year. Thankfully, I've never had my bags lost. These people are on the road every single week. 52 weeks a year. By the law of averages, their bags are going to get lost sometimes. How dare they? How dare they call out those hard-working men and women working for Delta Airlines? So remember, everybody, when WWE does something that's really great, like I saw a lot of people praising, and I just did before, that hot brawl to end Monday Night Raw, you be sure to let them know on social media how great you thought that segment was. You tag all of your favorite wrestlers. You tag Cedric. You tag everybody who was involved in that segment on Monday night. And you be sure to let them know how great you thought that was. Even though you've probably never produced a day of television in your life. I'm sure they won't mind you telling them how great it was. They might even like your tweet. But if you don't like a segment, you better keep that shit to yourself. Because Kayla Braxton... And everybody else in WWE, they don't have time for your irrelevant opinions.